So if you're watching this video asking yourself what a nerf is, I would recommend maybe watching another video that explains neural radiance fields. That's not what this is about. What this is about is that NVIDIA's instant nerf, or NGP, I don't know what that stands for really, uh, just became much easier to use. You used to have to code and all this, and now there's just like an executable that, well, let me show you what I'm talking about. So. Uh, if you look up NVIDIA Instant Nerf GitHub, this is where they store the code and you can download it. Originally, you had to download all the stuff, you had to compile a bunch of words that I don't even understand, right? Uh, but now, if you scroll down to Windows Binary Release, you're going to see three links. One for if you have a GTX 1000, RTX 2000, or in my case, I have a 3070 on this laptop. Uh, so you click the one that you want and it will automatically start downloading. I've already done this. Uh, when you download, you are going to get a uh, zip. I unzipped it and you get this folder called Instant NGP. All you have to do is you click this executable. It's going to do some command prompt stuff and there you go. Basically, at this point, all we do is we throw a data set at it. Uh, luckily, uh, with your download comes a data set and I'll show you how to make your own. That's actually much more complicated. Uh, but in data, you can go to Nerf, and there's always this uh, Fox example. You just drag this folder into it, and you can see it's starting to compute our neural radiance field. And there's a lot of settings here, like uh, training settings, uh, shading settings, um, you know, viewing settings, basically. Do you want dynamic resolution, or do you want it to be maximum resolution all the time and kind of slow? Um, that, that's the essence of it. But... The key idea here is that uh, nerfs used to be very complicated to make. You had to do all this coding, whatever. Now you just take your data set, you throw it in, and uh, you can render this thing. Um, by the way, one thing I'm wondering about is if I disable dynamic uh, resolution, how much more resolution do we get? I, get not, I guess not that much. It's just going to make sure that we don't get the uh, kind of like low res. Um, there's a name for this, what I'm thinking of. It's kind of like levels of detail, LODs. Either way, uh, you, you don't care about what I'm talking about this at this point. Uh, go download it, link in the description, and I'm going to make some tutorials about nerfs now because I like them, and I hope you do too.